Hello, Scorpio. We're going to do a general read for you. We're going to look at a couple of things. We're going to look at your current energy. We're going to look at the desire. Now, if the desire doesn't fit, that's fine. Uh, we're also going to look at the outcome. Now, if the outcome doesn't fit, that's fine too. Keep in mind, we're still going to look at a few other things. What is working for you? This might fit, it may not, but also what you need to be aware of. So there's like five different messages that we're looking at. And then I'm going to pull three more cards around the end of the read to make sure that we've got it all on the table that you may need. So Scorpio, there we go. Current energy, the star. Hmm. The star, hope, healing, optimism, better times. But I'm drawn to this heart up here and this full cup and so for some of you it may be that you're hoping for someone to share with to share the rest of your life with your abundance with and the seven of coins queen of coins and the two cups just confirms that right now so we see this desire or this current energy of wanting to share in love how wonderful i like that let's look at the desire Queen of Swords, interesting. Ten of Swords, Ten of Coins, Four of Cups. Now the Queen of Swords is on guard. She doesn't have a problem cutting people's heads off, but you're wanting to sort of be... I want to use the term respected. Respected for the power that you have. We see the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Coins, and the Four of Cups. The Ten of Swords, something ended. Ten of Coins, you're looking for this um, legacy, this stability. And then the Four of Cups is like, mm, do I really want this? What do I really want? So with something ending here, and it may have you very jaded, you're trying to figure out what you really want and how that's going to come about. How am I going to have my ten of coins? And do I really want love anymore? It's, it looks like you're almost really focusing on your money. <clears throat> Now the outcome is the five of coins. We have the seven of cups, the eight of coins, and the eight of wands. Two sevens, two tens, two eights. Okay. A lot of things going on. So at the outcome, not being left out. Seven of Cups, Eight of Coins. Maybe you're trying to figure out what to do in order to put your energies in. So we see this sort of confusion possibly where you've locked yourself away from other opportunities and you're just going to focus on what you do and that's going to be your focus. And you're kind of blocking out communication uh, from others. That you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to focus on me. What is working for you? We have the Knight of Wands. The Death card. The Five of Cups. And the King of Cups. Was that the Queen of Cups? No, that's the star. Uh, what's working for you? It's almost like you've been forced into some change. Something in this love has changed drastically and it's caused you to take action. It's caused you to move in, move out, move on is kind of what I see. The death card is your energy, but there is regret here in love. And that's why I get sort of the outcome of shutting yourself away and figuring out what you're going to do. 
what you need to be aware of. A high priestess. The wheel of fortune. Justice. And the two of wands. The high priestess can be secrets. Things can be hidden. There can be intuition that's needed here. There's potential here. And the wheel, the wheel speaks of things shifting. The King of Cups, oh, I also forgot to mention, King of Cups is also your energy. Uh, but we have justice. There is the need, as this starts to take off or end, that there is balance. And you're waiting for that to happen. Things may have ended in the past and it was a bit of a grind and you don't know why you just want it done with balance and you're waiting for it. I need three cards. Thank you. Advice. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Sun. New life, new love is incoming uh, with the Sun here. Easy peasy, can't really get, there's happiness coming in. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Sun card. So this wheel is turning in your favor. Uh, it's turning even whatever's happened over here. There can be a renewal of that love. It can just be that things are now starting to move in a direction because now you're forced to take action. But that's what I have for you today, Scorpio. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I appreciate you being here, all of those that have subscribed. If you haven't done so, please do so. And we will see you next time. Stay safe.